hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul from a brand new brand that I have never shopped before so it's going to be a bit of a first impressions, unboxing, review, style video. The brand is Yes Style. It's a brand that I first came across, I think it was Gemma Miles vlog a while back and she hauled a few items from Yes Style. So I actually went on the website back then, shopped a couple of items and then they kindly reached out and wanted to work with me on today's video. I will of course leave everything linked below in the description box. I initially shopped homeware but then when I went on the website I discovered that there is fashion, there's beauty, there's all sorts of amazingness. So if like me you like a bargain then maybe it's worth a little browse. I'll leave like I said links and everything in the description box below. I'll also leave a discount code for you guys should you wish to use it. All the information is in the description box below. First things first I'll show you these phone cases that I got actually. Um, I love them both but one in particular I really like and it's the just plain and simple beige one. So I actually have a black case on currently but my phone is gold. You might be able to tell from the little camera there. So I think I'm going to put this one on for today. And these were literally a few pounds. So cheap and affordable. And then this one is quite different in that it's got a little like almost Polaroid frame on. And it says the art, the earth without art is just, oh. So yeah, two phone cases. Brand new and I always like a little phone case switch up. Then I also bought for my AirPods this case in this beautiful mocha kind of matte beige colour. It's actually, it was called Bubble Tea phone case because it came with this little bubble tea charm but you can take that off it did actually come without it on so I've attached it myself but you can just have in fact I think I'll just have it plain you know I've got a couple of stationary bits first thing is this pack of really pretty pastel highlighters I love these colors especially this one here or in fact these three love all of them I just think they're a bit more different and unique in that they're not the standard box standard bright yellows and orange and green highlighters. And then I also picked up this pen. I needed some pretty pens. So I got some, probably could have got some more actually. I also got this for scrapbooking. It's a pack of washi tape. They had loads of different designs. In fact, I'll show you from the back so you can see all the different designs in this pack. I'd say most things within this haul are £5 or less, £10 or less, £15 or less couple of items a little bit more but overall affordable this little pack of washi tape i was very tempted to get lots but really fun for scrapbooking and kind of doing little fun designs with highlighted words or whatever if you're into scrapbooking or bullet journaling i also got this silicon mold it's in like a really nice stone color now this was actually described as a candle mold so you can diy make your own candles it's probably quite small for doing anything bigger than that like cookies or anything like that but little ice cubes would be fun and then I also got this ice cube tray which is in little love hearts which is so adorable it's again a silicon mold fun little contraption that is a very practical is this little storage container thing that can open or close so you can size it to your preference and then it has these little side panels here which just slide in to um like a tr either a cupboard drawer so you can just slot it onto one of the fridge trays and it basically just stores like whatever you want in there and just compartmentalize them especially if you've got a bit of wasted space on the tray below on the shelf below then this kind of slots in nice and you can just put whatever you want in there so yeah picked up that from the beauty section i picked up some beauty blenders and how pretty are these colors they're like a really nice chocolate brown i thought it'd be quite practical to get a color a beauty blender that is the color of like your foundation your contour your because i use a cream contour as well um and it looks less messy than like if you buy a colored beauty blender like a blue or whatever that shows up foundation really easily also to go in the bathroom i picked up this little frosted kind of container that is divided into two sections they had it on their website as like a i think a cotton bud 
storage container type thing you could use it for little stationary bits like paper clips and then staples in one side something like that in an office then i also bought this block of four wooden potpourri they're called essentially what they are if you've never seen anything like this before they are odor neutralizing little wooden blocks that you can put in your um wardrobe maybe in the pocket of a blazer or something to keep your clothes smelling fresh you can put them in drawers especially like gym drawers gym bags wherever really and in order to keep them fresh you can just sandpaper them down and then keep reusing them essentially then i also bought this boot bag i find shoe storage can be really awkward and especially boots they just don't really have a home especially if you don't have the shoe boxes for them anymore so um yeah i thought this was a really practical purchase and if you know me i love a good practical purchase so this is a boot bag it came in three different sizes i think this one was the medium from memory and essentially you can just zip it up put your boots in and then they've got a nice carry handle as well should you wish to take them with you if you're going away somewhere then you've got them nicely stored like that and you don't have to literally carry both boots and then last but not least in this box i still have three boxes and two bags to go is this another practical purchase i love this one this is like a canvas bag that is just like a really versatile transportable bag that you can throw in the back of the car and just have it as a shopper bag whenever you're out and about this is the sort of thing that whenever i do like charity shop videos here on my channel or like out and about i know i'm going to be getting a few bits from different shops i just take a bag like this i either roll it up and put it in my handbag or just take that as my bag it's also the type of bag that i would use as a little gym bag especially at the minute whilst we're renovating pre getting a shower and going to the gym every day for a shower then i just use a bag like this to throw my towel and everything in moving on to the next box that we have here i also just want to mention i didn't have to pay any import duty fees or anything like that either worth noting so i got this storage organizer again it just is a very practical love a practical purchase little storage box with 12 compartments that would fit really easily within a drawer that you can just roll up your underwear socks you can put accessories and bits in here as well the fact that it zips at the back to fold flat and fold over, <laughs> hit me in the face. Um, again, just for now, I'm just gonna store away until I've got my built-in wardrobes all built and organized. Then that is the sort of thing that will go within a drawer somewhere that will just help me keep organized. All good for makeup as well, if you wanna section off certain makeup products within a drawer. So also speaking of makeup, I got these makeup remover sponges set of three different colors i picked up wet them use them with your cleanser buff buff whatever cleanser that you've got within your skin with these and it helps remove all your makeup and then they are reusable so you can just pop them in the wash oh this is such a random order that i'm showing you all these items in but that's the whole fun of a random haul like this one so next up we have another silicone mold that i thought would be good for again ice cubes little biscuits whatever i end up putting within these and they are Christmassy. so we've got little gingerbreads and candy canes again back to stationery i got a little mesh zipper pencil case in white this reminds me of the days in school where you used to have to have a see-through pencil case during exams that was no fun yet now i'm like all about a clear case like this especially if you're using it for makeup or anything you can see exactly where the brushes or products are that you need to get to are i'll stick with stationery i've got a couple more stationery bits within here and they are are both notebooks love a good notebook and a fresh new one is just the best feeling ever so this is a frosted kind of covered with a little strap across that just helps keep it shut and this has a really nice layout each page has the date option that you can fill in yourself so that's the first notebook that i got and then i also got this smaller one which i just thought was beautiful i loved the design of this it's in a really nice ivory color with a bit of kind of rose gold detailing on the binder there just a really nice plain notebook which i love i feel like that would sit beautifully on display on a desk with like a nice pen on top a nice pen and use some nice highlighters in there as well i bought this pack of four coasters i'm not sure if i love them basically they are little jute coasters little hessian coasters which i thought they'd be a bit plainer than they are but you can see there's quite a bit of like line detailing on them 
We've got two different seasons going on here. I feel like this is a good idea that we are transitioning between seasons before long because I got two of these glass mugs. I think it was these that I saw on Gemma's uh, vlog that I ended up purchasing. I'm pretty sure she got this one. So glass mug with these cute little lemons on. Perfect for summer. And then I also spotted this one, which like I said, a nice transition into autumn with little pumpkins and leaves on. Autumn is my favorite time of the year. Okay, so I've actually got one like this already. It's over there, in fact, you can't see. Let me show you. You can see on that table there, this little silhouette black metal framed vase. They have a few different sizes. So I opted for another one in this plain kind of circular shaped vase now not only like that could you put a little candle in the middle of it i also think these look nice with a single stem of eucalyptus or pampas or bunny tails or whatever it is that just kind of sits nicely or even a fresh flower rather than dried you could put a little uh, glass just a little tumbler glass in here with water and then pop it in and i love the kind of modern look to this this is probably my favorite purchase of the entire haul wait till you see it we have a ceramic little white how adorable is this it's got a really nice gold lid as well you could use this as a little soup bowl you could use it as a little trinket dish you could do a little diy and pour a candle in there and pop a wick in and it'd be a candle if it's fireproof maybe just check that i think from memory they might have had it in orange as well oh my god just imagine a seasonal pumpkin squash soup in that the last thing in this box in particular and then we're moving on to fashion is this you might be able to tell from the box what it is it's actually a domed glass little container which comes with a stand with three little feet on there to keep it protected and like i said a glass dome like a cloche kind of piece that goes on top of the stand and within here you could have this in the bathroom with little cotton buds or accessories for in the bathroom you could use it with i mean it's classed as a cake dome so with little maybe biscottis in and just have it sat out on the kitchen counter i've got a big glass cake stand with a cloche so i feel like this would sit quite nicely next to it you could pop some fairy lights in there some foliage in there and have it as a home decor piece i just love these kind of glass cloches so when I saw this, I had to pick it up. Do you know what I think would look really pretty in that? Some little bunny tails. In fact, as again, <laughs> talking autumn, I have a bigger glass cloche as well. If you remember last year, last autumn, I popped the little white company felt pumpkins within it. So again, little mini pumpkins maybe would look cute in there again as a home decor piece. So that's, oh no, one more thing tell a lie and this is actually a really fun find so this is a candle and it's scented mimosa and cardamom which is one of my favorite fragrances from joe malone mimosa and cardamom just works so well together if you like those kind of incensey it just takes me to marrakesh if ever you've been to morocco that kind of smell that you smell as walking around the souk markets all the incense burning all the spices that is mimosa and cardamom i love it. it's very warm so this little candle not only do i love the design but i also love the smell of it so it's in do you know what that is a very good close dupe to the joe malone i've got it in the um fragrance the perfume and that smells very very similar but it's too pretty to burn so i'm just imagining this maybe on like a little glass stand like that cloche something similar to that either domed or uncovered and just sat out on a little sort of display tray maybe and it even comes boxed with a little ribbon cute okay so finally moving on to the fashiony bits now i've got a couple of bags of items oh okay this first was a little bit daring for me and some of you would probably be quite refreshing to see because it's a little pop of color so it's a beautiful lemon dress it's very similar to one that i've spotted on house of cb very similar fraction of the price as well 
So it is this really pretty kind of ditzy floral feminine dress that has a little tie design here on the front. It is zipped as well on the back, so nice and easy to get into. And it's a really nice fabric actually. It's quite lightweight, good for summer. You can just picture that having a picnic in the middle of a field somewhere. Love it. Okay, then I also got this black dress and this is definitely more in my comfort zone because it is just nice and simple and it's a really nice neckline and cap sleeve as well. Plain and simple black dress with a cinched in waist. Again, nice and lightweight, good for the summery months. You know those end of summer days that end up being quite warm, but you're leading into the cooler seasons. So the fact that this is nice and long line and your legs are covered is just a good go-to for someone like me. I got this one in a large. Always check the size guide for reference just because some of the things can come up quite small, I find. Okay, and then I also got this uh, sweatshirt. A nice kind of, similar to this one that I'm wearing, just like a logo or print, some kind of design on the front. Alaskan Cruise, United States in 1959 design on the front, but also on the back as well. So there's definitely more of the detail on the back of this one, whereas this one's very heavily detailed on the front. Oh, okay, this, um, I think I'm gonna send this one back. This is a apron, but I do actually have another one now, which I've already got. It's one of these apron dress style aprons that, that you just kind of cross over and pop above your head, slip on, and it's almost like a dress, like there's no tie needed or anything. Okay, then this one is not an apron, this is an actual dress in a large and it's a button down dress and a nice kind of thick strap and it also has a bow that you can tie at the back with a really pretty kind of cinched in waist love the length of this as well okay last few items to share with you again lots of linens we have a khaki play suit which is quite cute nice little cinch in waist detail here i quite like the fact that it's collared it makes it look a little bit smarter very safari vibes. I want to wear this in South Africa. I want to go back there. Pocket details as well, which is a nice additional touch. I love it when play suits have pockets. I also have this pair of linen culotte style trousers. Nice and high-waisted with a cinch in but really stretchy waist that ties up in the middle. And they are full, are they full length? They're probably just ever so slightly cropped. Then I also picked up this little basic. It is, do you know what? The fabric of this is so nice. It's a little scoop neck crop just a good basic that i would wear on an everyday basis layered underneath something so or you could wear it with maybe high-waisted joggers in the same color into autumn it's awesome how much of this is this color is autumn oh this is a really smart two-piece but i feel like it might be a little bit too small for me the shorts in particular like too short i quite like a longer line on my shorts i do really love the fabric other than the fact that these are maybe just a bit too short for me but we'll see nice tortoise shell button just nice and soft to the touch you know linen can sometimes be a bit scratchy this is really soft it's got a nice elasticated waistband and then paired with a more oversized fit blazer i love this blazer this screams summer vibes to me a nice lightweight linen blazer i love tortoiseshell with white as well i think it's really pretty combination for the warmer months sized up to a large in this set but in the hope that the shorts might come up a bit longer but i just feel like they might be a little bit short okay this is my favorite of all the linen items this finish this fabric is beautiful so i did size up in a um to this in a large and it is a short sleeved which are rolled up turned up linen v-neck button down dress it goes all the way to the floor there is a little pocket detail on the um front here they kind of sit like so those kind of pockets got the button down on the front but it's also got a half button down on the back so you could almost open it up and have it sit off shoulder a little bit okay so two more items left i have this khaki over shirt slash lightweight jacket i'm gonna say because it is just um in this beautiful rich kind of khaki color again good autumnal slash transitional color to wear I do love this colour, I have to be honest, I love green tones. So this just sits open, there's no hardware, there's no fuss, there's no extras added on. Last but not least, we have an item that I'll probably end up getting quite a lot of wear out of and it is a lightweight shirt, linen shirt, that just sits open 
or you could tuck into some uh, denim shorts. You could wear this as a beach cover-up dress. Similar to that dress, it buttons down all the way on the front, but it also has this little half button down detail at the back. So should you wish for the back to be a bit more open and airy and this sit off shoulder, then you've got that option to do so. This is in an extra large. I want them to be loose, lightweight, like I said. Don't even want it to touch my body. And that is everything that I picked up from Yester. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and the fact that it is a new brand. If there are any other new brands that I have never shopped before that you'd like me to shop and like to see a bit of a review slash unboxing, then by all means, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know which were your favorite items in the comments as well. And let me know if you pick anything up yourself. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.